Uh, yes, a very pleasant good morning, students. So we are going to continue with the same chapter. Should wizard hit mommy? Written by John John Updike. So this story is about the worldwide view of a little child, and it is difficult. Uh, so it's about the uh, view of a little child, and the difficult moral question she raises during the story session with her father. What's that moral question? Like, should mother be hit back by the uh, should mother be hit back by the wizard? So it's that moral question: Should mother be questioned for what she believes is good for her child? So what parents think for her children for their children, whether that is right or not, that is one issue. But should parents be punished for what they think is right for their children? Should parents be questioned for that? That's the moral issue which this chapter raises. So we were talking about the story. We had already done th these many pages. <clears throat> yes, uh, up till fifty one we had done. So even fifty two page we had done where the uh, where the wizard was able to change the smell of Roger skunk into the smell of Roger uh, into the smell of roses. So skunk had started smelling like roses. And later on, when the skunk went home, uh, how did the mother of skunk react? Let's start from there, that place. So, so the wizard said, oh, very well, go to the end of the lane and turn around three times and look down the magic well, and there you will find three pennies. So the wizard also needed, he also wanted some money in return for what he had done for the skunk. So he asked for seven pennies. Four pennies were already with the skunk and three he did not have. So here also the wizard helped the skunk and told him like if he goes to that particular well, from there he'll get those pennies. Hurry up. So Roger skunk went to the end of the lane and turned around three times. And there in the magic well, there were three pennies. So he took them back to the wizard and was very happy and ran out into the woods and all the other little animals gathered around him because he smelled so good. And they played tag, baseball, football, basketball, lacrosse, hockey, soccer, and pickup sticks. So when the skunk came back to uh, join his friends, there he played all these games. What's pickup sticks? It's a game you play with sticks, like the wizard's magic wand, kind of. And they played games and laughed all afternoon. And then it began to get dark, and they all ran home to their mummies. So when it started getting dark, then all the animals started going back to their mothers. So through the story, the father is telling his daughter so many things. He's, uh, he told, him, uh, told her all about the games. So if she didn't know some meaning, she even asked her father, then uh, like as soon as it started getting dark, the children should go back to their parents. So these, the things you want to teach your children, you know, if you do it through the stories, then it is even like, the children learn it through, in, with fun they learn it. Joe was starting to first with her hands and look out of the window at the crack of the day that showed under the shade. She thought the story was all over. So the, Joe started creating fuss. She started becoming agitated uh, because she felt like the story had finished. Jack didn't like women when they took anything for granted. So see, the reference is to uh, uh, the women second time, third time rather. Once uh, the writer said like uh, uh, the room of the wizard was untidy because there was no women. Then he says like when uh, she was uh, the one, uh, uh, when this girl, you know, uh, she did not, love, when she showed her happiness, uh, then her, she resembled her mother. Her mother also used to be happy whenever she went in for the cocktail parties. So third time, she, he didn't like women when they took anything for granted. Why women? The same thing can be true for men also. If you say like he didn't like someone who didn't take anything for granted, then it's okay. Saying that he didn't like women, especially it's being, uh, you know, um, it's being unfair. Right? So he liked them apprehensive, hanging on his words. Now, Joe, are you listening? Yes, because this is very interesting. Roger Skunk's mommy said, what's that awful smell? 
what who is a speaker of what and what does it show what here the speaker is the girl jo jo is uh, you know uh, she is uh, uh, what we can say uh, jo is startled to hear that expression to hear the mother's reaction she had never expected that uh, uh, jo uh, that skunk's mother would react like that when she will see the uh, see that her son was smelling like roses so what mother said <clears throat> and rajesh kang said it's me mommy i smell like roses and she said who made you smell like that and he said the wizard and she said well of all the nerve you come with me and we are going right back to that very awful wizard so the mother became very annoyed when she got to know that her son was uh, smelling like roses because of the wizard so she told him to accompany her to the wizard jo sat up her hands dabbling in the air with genuine fright but daddy then he said about the other little animals run away her hands skittered off into the underbrush all right he said but mommy all the other little animals run away and she said i don't care you smelled the way a little skunk should have and i'm going to take you right back to that wizard and she shook an umbrella and she took an umbrella and went back with roger's skunk and hit that wizard right over her his head so the mother skunk she uh, the moment she went out all the other animals ran ran away why did they run away because of the bad smell of skunk so the bad smell of the skunk makes the uh, makes the enemies at bay so bad the skunks are able to uh, are able to save themselves because of their bad smell right so uh, you smelled the way a little skunk should have uh then no so the she went off there with an umbrella and she hit the wizard high, hard with the umbrella no jo said and put her hand out to touch his lips yet even in her agitation did not quite dare to stop the source of truth inspiration came to her then the wizard hit her on the head and did not change that little skunk back so what the girl did number 1 she uh, the moment she heard her father telling her that mother hit the skunk with that uh, umbrella then she could not stop her father from speaking what he spoke but she herself spoke the next part of the story and she said then uh, the uh, what he she said then the wizard hit her on the head it see it is what the girl is telling she is adding uh, the plot to the story from her own side she said the wizard hit the head hit her head on the wizard hit her on the head and did not change the little skunk back no he said the wizard said okay and roger skunk did not smell of roses anymore and he smelled very bad again so who is the speaker no he said who is he here father so J jack told his daughter no it's not so the wizard agreed with the mother and changed to the skunk skunk's smell and now the skunk started again smelling like earlier that is he started smelling bad again but the other little uh, aman o oh, aman but the other little she wanted to say like what about the other little creatures will they now be accompanying this girl again but the uh, john, john it's dad's story shall dad not tell you any more stories her broad face looked at him through sifted light astounded so father wanted to be you know assertive here he didn't want to change the story as per the demand of the girl just to make her happy he did not want to change the values which he wanted to her to learn what value did he want her to learn the value that you should remain true to your own background you must respect you must love you should be proud of what you are yes you can try to become better but don't be ashamed of what you belong to okay what your family background is don't be ashamed of sharing or showing it to the world uh john uh, her broad face looked at him through the sifted light astounded this is what happened this is what happened then roger skunk and his mummy 
went home and they heard boo and it was a two two train bringing dad skunk home from boston so when they reached home father also came back from boston they had lima beans celery liver mashed potatoes and all and when roger skunk was in bed mummy skunk came up and hugged him and said he smelled like her little baby skunk again and she loved him very much and that's the end of the story so in the end as roger skunk was smelling like the skunk the way it he should and the mummy loved him a lot but daddy what then did the other animals run away no because eventually they got used to the way he was and did not mind it at all so this is what was the basic concern of the girl she was very concerned about uh, the fact like if the other animals remained friends with him and the father said yes the other friends uh, did not mind his bad smell now because they accepted him for what he was uh what is an ivon shelande in a little while that was a stupid mommy it was not so this is girl now uh this is what the girl now you can say uh concluded she said like that mother's uh, skunk's mother was stupid why did she say she was stupid because she did not uh, let her son uh, have the smell which he wanted so it was not father said he said with rare emphasis and believed from her expression that she realized he was defending his own mother to her or something as odd so father knew that the girl will make out that he was defending his own mother so here we can say here is an autobiographical element in the story where the father is why father is defending mother skunk because actually jack is defending his own mother because in his own childhood he might also have had certain complexes and his mother might have helped him become confident with what he was so today he was sharing the same uh, you know uh, same value with his with his daughter no i want you to put your big heavy head in the pillow and have a good long nap he adjusted the shade so not even a crack of day showed and tiptoed to the door so he covered the girl uh, uh, so he covered the window so that no light comes inside and he told her to go to sleep and then he silently went towards the door in the pretense that she was already asleep but when he turned she was crouching on top of the covers and staring at him so when father looked back he saw that the girl was sitting up on couch on the covers and she was looking at him hey get under the covers and fa fall fast asleep bobby is asleep so now go to sleep your brother is already sleeping she stood up and bounced gingerly on the springs daddy what tomorrow i want you to tell me the story that wizard took that magic wand and hit the mummy so today in the story what had happened that the mother had hit the wizard and now the girl because she knows that now she'll have to sleep that uh, time is already uh, you know too much now she wants her father to uh, promise that he would tell her the story next day in which the father would tell her that the wizard hit the uh, mother uh, her plump arms chopped forcefully right over the head no that's not the story the point is that the little skunk loved his mummy more than he loved all the other little animals and she knew what was right so this is how the father concluded that the point is not that uh, uh, what skunk wanted point is that the little skunk loved his mother more than he loved his friends and he knew that his mother was right no tomorrow you say he hit that mummy do it so girl is still adamant she says no tomorrow you tell me that uh, wizard hit the mummy do it she kicked her legs up and sat down on the bed with a great heave and complaint of springs as she had done hundreds of times before except that this time she did not laugh so she showed her arrogance she showed her you know uh, obstinacy uh, but this time she was not laughing she was very serious say it dad well we'll see now at least have a rest 
stay on the bed you are a good girl so he closed the door and went downstairs clear had spread the newspapers and opened the paint can and wearing an old shirt of his on top of a maternity smock so now he went downstairs and he saw that his wife had already you know spread the newspapers on the furniture uh, and she had opened up the paint open a uh, paint can and she was wearing his old shirt upon his uh, you know uh, upon her maternity uh, gown and she was stroking the chair rail with a dipped brush so she was painting the chair above him footsteps vibrated and he called jo uh, john shall i come up there and spank you the footsteps hesitated so then he scolded his wife like should i spank you for doing what you should not because his wife was expecting she was already 6 months uh, in expectancy so she, uh, he scolded her like why are you doing these kinds of things so that was a long story clear said the poor kid he answered and with utter that was a long story clear said so clear pointed out that it was a very long story today so here children this dialogue of clear shows complaint maybe complaint she is complaining that that her husband uh, uh, you know very was very busy he told a very long story the poor kid he answered and with utter weariness watched his wife's labor the wood work a cage of moldings and rails and baseboards all around them was a half old tan uh, and half new ivory and he felt caught in an ugly middle position and though he was and though he as well felt his wife's presence in the cage with him he did not want to speak with her work with her touch her anything so the man was very tired already he it had been a very long session story session and now when he saw his wife working it means that he also had to help her out but somewhere the man was very unhappy jack he found himself as if he had been caught in an ugly middle position what is ugly middle position when you can neither leave your wife nor can you be with her so neither he wanted to speak to her nor he wanted to talk to her nor he wanted to work with her nor he wanted to touch her but he had to be with her because uh, this is what the family life expects so he found himself caught in an ugly middle position because neither he loved his wife nor he could leave her so in the end we come to a point where we see that this man who was such a good father uh, was not in good terms with his wife he didn't have that good rapport with his wife so what are the reasons we exactly don't know but there had been many many you know uh, instances where we got to have a little idea about what kind of person this man is he is anti feminist he doesn't respect women uh, you know according to him uh, uh, he expects a different culture from women so and moreover what kind of wife uh, that claire was we don't have much idea but we just got one thing like that was a long story that might have been a bit complaining so it's not that only the father is wrong somewhere we find even clear you know uh, not really a very good mother when father had been uh, you know when jack was trying to be an ideal father then clear should also have been there with her husband uh, to share those that parenting responsibilities okay making children was asleep in the afternoon or whenever that is an equal responsibility parents share okay uh, at the time when he was making her sleep then she was uh, painting downstairs so point is not that she could not uh, that it's uh, like they both have to be together at one place the point is that um, parents do share their children's or family concerns together right so that's how the story has an ended story has ended but it has left behind a lot of questions like uh, uh what kind of parenting is required to make children grow up smoothly was the father right in his uh, you know attitude or should he have uh, you know given up to what girl was saying okay so okay uh, the questions will be discussed tomorrow reading with insight there are six questions these questions will discuss tomorrow you people go through the story again
right? <clears throat> Any question you people have right now? Yes, anything you want to know, raise hands. Yes, raise hands if you want to know something. Any doubt, any question? No? <clears throat> okay, then tomorrow we'll see, okay?